For those who may not already know, I made a cosplay guide for the Resident Evil 4 version of Leon Kennedy a while back. It's by far Leon's more iconic look. That being said, his police variant from Resident Evil 2 was the first outfit we saw him in, and is no less recognizable. In this video, I'll be covering the Resident Evil 2 2019 version. The original from 1998 has a lot more charm, but the new design is a lot more practical and is easier to assemble, as nearly all the gear he's wearing is based on models that exist in real life. I will leave a text document with all the links to the equipment that I've mentioned in the video on my Discord server. Now, let's get to the breakdown. First up is his soft vest. There are many models in real life that are near identical to the one he uses in game. If you want a perfect one-to-one -one replica, a version from jacketscreator.com would be a perfect fit. This company specializes in making all sorts of replicas based on the ones seen in movies and games, and their Leon Kennedy police vest is no exception in being an amazing replica. In terms of real life counterparts, I assume that Capcom based their vest on an old school pack of soft vest. Visually, they are almost identical to the ones seen in game, except for the shoulder pad design. Now, where to get these? It's a hard question actually. It's possible to find these in military surplus stores, but there are other options you can try out if you can't find this vest. The next option would not be period accurate, however it's near identical to the version seen in game and is a lot cheaper than the replica from Jacket's creator. That being Cry Precision's LVS, in a black configuration. If you want to sacrifice a bit of accuracy but get a cheaper variant, there is an option for you as well. The PT-08 Class 3 body armor. The same one that hung wore in Resident Evil 2. It's a common police vest that was used a lot during the 90s and in many ways it looks similar to the one that Leon wore. You can find this vest almost anywhere. If you're going by the last two options, you would want to get the RPD patch to go along with it. These are fairly easy to find online, you can even find them in sets. So once you get them, just slap them onto the velcro of the police vest and you should be good. The next piece is optional. On both of his shoulders, Leon has cord management pads. These are used to manage radio cords for police PTT devices and microphones. I found really similar ones made by Chase Tactical. They are fairly pricey, but if you want accuracy points, then this option would be a good pick. Leon is also wearing two belts, one for his pants and the other for his equipment. The belt on his pants is from 511 and it's named the 5.1 Trainer's Belt. Don't forget to get it in the black configuration. The second belt is a Safari Land Safari Laminate Buckless Outer Duty Belt. This one should be in the Basket Weave configuration. Now, onto the accessories of the belt. To Leon's left, we have the C305M open handcuff case. Sadly, I'm not sure which exact model the handcuffs are, as we don't really see them used in game. But they might be based on ASB's handcuffs, judging from the ring design. Be sure not to forget this piece, as the zombies may not need handcuffing, but Ada Wong does. I'm just doing my job. And I'm doing mine, so drop that damn gun! I'm taking you in. Agent Kennedy. Hey there, handsome. How's it hanging? <laughs> you tell me. You spend so much time down there that you could probably write a dissertation on the size and shape of my to the right is a HKS plane double speed loader case. Now look, I have no idea why Leon is wearing pouches made for revolvers, as he never uses one in game. Next up is his drop like holster. This design as far as I'm aware is completely fictional, and no it's not a VP70 holster either. There are multiple ways to go about this. First one is getting a generic uh, universal drop like holster with double straps. These are extremely common and easy to get. The second option is a lot harder. You you can try creating this holster by yourself by 3D printing it if you have a 3D mold. That's the only way I can think of of getting a one-to-one -one copy. Next up is this ring here. This is made to hold a D-cell maglight flashlight. These are still widely available to find. To the left of the ring is a holster for the ASP expandable baton. Not exactly a useful piece, which is probably why we never see Leon using a baton in game, as I doubt it will do much to your average zombie. Next up is something that is not actually shown in the game's model viewer. It's only visible during gameplay, that being the M9 bayonet knife with its holster in a black configuration. You can find replicas for very cheap, around to the $15 range. To cap off all the accessories on the belt, we have the Boston Leather Radio 
holder. This design is slightly altered in game, but I can say with certainty that it's based on this design. This piece will cost around $37. Alright, next up is the radio. I do not know what the radio model is. Now look, I did a lot of digging. So much in fact that I found all other radio models used by other characters like Marvin and Claire, but I couldn't find the model used by Leon. However, I do know the US Police Department's favor Motorola radios due to Motorola providing huge discounts for the police force. Looking back at some of the images of radios made by Motorola, I did find some similarities between the one that Leon uses in-game and the Motorola Saber 3, which was most likely the inspiration for the model in-game. The hand microphone device on Leon's left shoulder is based on a design from Motorola. It's called the Motorola Saber Mic. I'm confident in it because the button placement and the mold for the PTT device is identical to the one he used in game, as you can see here. Onto the gloves. The gloves are Miltex Seg Black Leather Fingerless Gloves, the same one he wore in Resident Evil 4. Leon is wearing a generic navy blue police TDU. Therefore, there are many versions out there, so pick the one you like. I would personally go for a set from 511. Now, as you all remember, Raccoon City was pouring with rain and it was probably pretty cold. So, just like so, don't forget to get a long sleeved white shirt and pop it underneath. Over the sleeves, you would want to get Black Hawk's Advanced Tactical Elbow Pads, version 2s, in a black configuration. The knee pads are from Alta Industries, specifically the Alta Flex Flexible Cap Tactical Knee Pads. Their airsoft variants are fairly cheap and you can easily find replicas of both the knee pads and the elbow pads in military or airsoft stores for a lot cheaper. Just know that the replicas found online may be under a generic name. The boots that Leon is wearing are from Adidas, specifically the GSG9 Tactical Boots. I say based because they are identical one to one except for the single missing stripe over here. The game version is probably missing that little stripe to avoid licensing issues. If you can't get your feet into these, getting generic black combat boots will do the trick. Alright, next up is Leon's primary weapon, the VP-70, or the Matilda as it's called in game. This piece you may need to create by yourself, as finding an airsoft variant is really hard. Luckily I found a few options on how to get by. The first one is simply making it out of cardboard. I will leave a link to it on my discord if you're having trouble finding the video. The second option is finding a 3D mold to print out. Just remember that Leon's has some custom detailing on the set of the gun that you should apply for extra accuracy points. With that out of the way, this completes Leon Kennedy's complete loadout from Resident Evil 2. I'm thinking about which character I should do next, I'm considering Ada Wong, B2 from Nier, or maybe even Lady Hunk. Darth Revan is also on the list of cosplay guides I want to do, so be sure to stick around for that. Thank you for watching everyone, and until next time.